guys, NerdLogger.com here, and we've got trailer trash talk for you. I'm gonna talk that trash in your face. First up, we got Frankenweenie. Not to be confused with the Tim Burton short. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, it is. It is Tim Burton, though. It is to be confused with the Tim Burton short because it's the extension. I love this. I've been waiting so long for this movie. Yeah. It looks awesome. I had never seen it before, so. Oh. I watched it when I was a kid. I grew up. Really? On. Yeah. I Aww. loved that short, and I love that now it's going to be a full length movie, and it looks really creepy. Yes, I like that I, it's in black and white. I actually, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hesitant usually about movies that are in black and white, but this one looks appropriate. I can't. It just. But um, I don't know why. I maybe there's something wrong with me, but I think it looks adorable. I, I think, think this looks adorable so too. Because cool. everybody thinks it looks creepy. I think no, it looks, I think really it looks cute. like it looks cute, creepy. creepy cute. Though. Yeah. It looks like Edward Scissorhands, like adorable mm -hmm. and endearing, but at the same time, really weird. Yeah, but I don't know. I think this just. I've been waiting so long for this. When I found out this was going to be mm -hmm. the next, uh, you know, stop motion Tim Burton movie, I was so stoked. I think it's going to redeem Tim Burton for me. Me too. Well, I, I still like him. I've I still like Tim him, Burton. but he's. And I know not a lot of good. not a lot of people liked Corpse Bride. I uh, I, did. I did too. Straight away from Tim Burton. I anything, didn't think. So. Um, I think Alice I th in Wonderland was his best though. Like no. last couple years. Yeah. So hopefully this brings people back back Could around to Tim Burton, where we're at. Okay. All right, guys. Our next trailer is That's My Boy, the new Adam Sandler movie. This looks awesome! Adam Sandler should have been doing for the last 20 years. Yeah! Uh, movies I've been wanting to see. Not Grown Ups. I hated Grown Ups. <laughs> I got chocolate wasted. <laughs> whoop de doo little kid. I don't care about you. I want I Adam, Sandler Adam Sandler to say the F word drunk. and the S word and the C word and, and the B word. Andy and playing Andy Samberg's dad. Yes! That's, that's, I love a lie. Two of them they together. It's like similar. that was going to happen. And I'm glad it's happening under this. Cause this looks hilarious. Yeah, it does actually look really, really Oh my really, really god, funny. and it's Adam Sandler being just naturally funny. Crazy yeah. and funny and like you know, cussing all the time and saying wicked and he has a cool accent and stuff. <laughs> I've been reluctant every time I see a trailer. Like I, when this started, I was like, oh no, uh, what is it? And then well, we it was really good. Yeah, we like, didn't get to really see the surprised. Red Band trailer. And yeah. There's a couple things you probably can't talk about on camera. Oh, that man. Were... The last part yes. of that trailer, yes. it had me. It had I, me at yeah. the beginning. That, no, like, that's what sealed the that deal. That bought my ticket. That was like, I'm definitely, it comes out on Father's Day. I'm definitely seeing this movie. Dude, let's take our dads. With my dad. Let's go, let's take our, both of our dads together. Dad date? Dad date. Oh, Haley weird. can't come. Nope. Nope. I mean, let us know what you guys think, though, about That's My Dad. Next up, we got Badass. Yeah. With Danny Trejo. What up, dude? I, dude, that right there, I don't even know anything about the movie. I'm in. It's a biography about Danny, Danny Trejo? That's what I figured. Pretty That's much. what I figured. Pretty it's much. just his life story. Right, with his fanny pack? It looks like they're running with another uh, meme story. Um, this guy looks exactly like the guy, the badass that it's punched that on guy bus. on the bus. Yeah. I mean, I looked it up and he's almost wearing the exact same outfit. I love Hat, the fanny pack. Shirt. I love Danny Trey. Nobody's ever looked so scary with a fanny pack on until Don't we see Danny with me. Trejo with a fanny pack. It's horrifying. It just reminds me of just a regular old, I mean, I, I guess I'm just like underwhelmed and desensitized because this just looks like a regular old badass old Mexican dude. Which is I, yeah, awesome. It's awesome. I know. That's really cool to me. And but he's white, like, I'm just saying. I'm just sorry, but it's Danny Trejo. I, I think he's going to be playing I, a white guy. I can't stop saying how much I like to see Danny Trejo punch things in movies. And that's what we're going to get with this. So yeah, cool. Let's see if that extends to just his fists or even more weapons. Oh. Or body parts. The plot Ooh. thickens. <laughs> Next up, the cutest movie of the day, Friends with Kids. Yeah, and unfortunately it stars... Um... Unfortunately? Yeah. Why? Really? Yeah, I don't like, I don't like her anymore. What's Ooh. her name? Go ahead. Hmm. I can't think of her name hmm. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Maybe the Oscar nominated Kristen Wiig? <gasps> it was! Oh, wait, it Kristen? was coming! Or could it be John Hamm? Who I love. No, John Hamm is a, a, woman. Is a, a woman. he. Sorry, no, 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 you said a woman, you said a woman. I don't know. Who, who do you, Maya Rudolph? You don't like Maya Rudolph? <laughs> I think it's Kristen Wiig. No, I love Kristen Wiig. So then who do you know? You bite like? your tongue. Okay, no, no, no. You know what, Bobby? Shut up. This movie looks amazing, okay? It does. Bobby doesn't know what he's talking about because he doesn't know who he hates. So it looks adorable. It does. So adorable. 
I'm a yeah. woman. Don't judge me. What? Is, I'm so excited what, what, for another what? adorable movie. Yeah, it looks awesome. It looks like a cool, you know, take your girlfriend out, have a good night out, and it's yeah, like yeah, because I need another one of those. I'm I'm sure your girlfriend <laughs> watches this, so. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Anyways, so, so basically, enough movie, pity party for Bobby. Anyway, right? this movie looks hilarious. Jasmine, take it. It's pretty much about uh, two couples, and then they have two single friends. Their single friends have a baby. They don't want to be in a relationship together because they're like brother and sister, but they do want to have children. They're getting older, so yeah. So are they in love? Or are they not in love? Let's just sit Let's down and out. figure it out together. Let's find out. And hilarity ensues. It's gonna be great, and this baby. I saw no adorable. hilarity really? ensuing Are at you all. dead inside? A little. Okay. All right. So Bobby's dead inside. Me and Jasmine are psyched for this movie because it looks awesome. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Next up, we have Piranha 3 Double D, a very wholesome movie for the family. I'm I'm excited. I just want to say that the, there's a capture image of a girl's chest. Those aren't double Ds. That's a lie. They're, they're, those are like F's. Well, they have to censor for the children. Come on. What children? The little boy who gets bitten by a piranha in this movie? Who's running around next to girls who clearly have like the fakest hits in the entire world? Let me just say I'm excited that there clearly is no rationale for making this movie <laughs> other than the absurd. I love it. The I fact that you. Gary Busey's in it, the fact that David Hasselhoff's in it, and he goes, I'm not a lifeguard, and that's why we have survival of the fittest. Those are the coolest lines I've ever heard. And the fact that a piranha eats a woman out from the inside out. I, I'm just... Yeah, that was good, too. Uh, and, then, and then it causes a guy to chop off his penis, we see. So and Doc be Brown! There nothing that would chop and off. Doc, Doc Brown, Brown gives it legitimacy. I yep. love it. Thank you, Christopher yep. Lloyd. I don't know where this spawned from, but there's a part of me inside that just cannot wait to go watch it and make boob jokes. That's all I want to do is make boob jokes. And count. do a boob count. We should do an official nerd locker like pot. Whoever counts the most boobs gets the pot. Get, get, counts the most boobs that get bitten off or something. Oh man, exactly. That's gonna be yep. in the hundreds. It has to be. We say. can only hope. We can only hope. <laughs> we can only hope. Definitely let us know what you guys think, especially if you've seen the first one, because they're just stepping it up. Yeah, and if you want to be my pot, let me know. Comments below. So next up, we have Ice Age Continental Drift. I have not watched a lot of the Ice Age movies, but this one looks extra adorable. This movie looks pointless. It's a kid's movie. There's no point to children's movies. It's a kid's uh, that's movie. That's not true. Just I'll be Speakable honest. Me was awesome. Okay, but those are also made for Mega adults. Mind was awesome. Also made for adults. Why is this not made for because adults? Because it's just a kid's movie. It's just so, no, I don't, I think that's. I've not. seen the previous three, because I do have two children, mm -hmm. and they are adorable, and this one looks right on par exactly. with that, which is a good thing. I'm excited to see it. I, I think the humor, John Leguizamo, is hilarious. 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 I love his character. I think it looks good. Yeah. At the end of the day, these movies make so much money that you really can't ignore them. Eh, I can. You can. I, I've done a really good job a heartless old man. of ignoring them. Yep. Heartless so if you have a soul, man. you can come watch with us. If, if you are like Brandon and Bobby, stay and home. And soulless. And I don't know what you. I bet Bobby doesn't think this looks good either. No. No. See, he's not agreeing with you. He just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to play it right now. Me and Bobby don't like this movie. It's adorable. It is. All right, nerds, that's going to do it for Trailer Trash Talk this week. Until next week, be sure to check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as nerdlocker.com for all your nerdy news. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Brandon. We'll see you next week for even more Trailer Trash Talk.